Welcome back, tribe. Let's get into it. All right, if you're a boy and you ever plan on being intimate with a girl... No thanks. Anyways, <laughs> guys, I think I found my new favorite Excel keyboard shortcut. If you hit Alt-W-V-G, it gets rid of all the grid lines. Thank me later. Forever till this day. I, I say beat them. Babe, I beat up my ex. What? My Exa me exactly. Up. The ones that you beat up, they want. <laughs> I told you they're dogs. They, train they them. are. They're not train right. them. Put them on a fucking leash and train them. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Dude, Western women have completely lost it. Can you imagine if this was the other way around? Just think if a man got caught talking like this about his relationships, about women in general, how quick this guy would be canceled. It would be national news, all the tabloids, all the headlines, everything you would read about the misogyny in society and how we need to work harder to stamp it out. And, you know, this is how women are being held back. It's crazy, isn't it? How openly misandrist they can be, but just a teeny bit of misogyny got to be stamped out right away. Red flag that I've seen a guy is having a mom and even worse, having a sister. Oh my God. Okay, it's fair enough. But what are you into? Transformers? Pokemon? You fucking child? Damn. You want me to be an orphan? Well, unfortunately, I have both a mom and a sister. Oh, wow. Do you have any aunts? Three. Wow. Is your grandma still alive? Um, one of them's gone. Yeah. The other one's still here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's the list of uh, the checklist. For all the things you should or should not be doing. Don't skip a step. Don't test any yogurt. Don't sit down. Don't take progress pics. Don't wait in a line. Don't be cold. Don't post on social media. You don't get good deals. Don't wear skinny jeans. Don't have fun on a holiday. Don't swim in the pool. Don't have pain in your feet. Okay, What's some other funny ones? Don't paddle on a paddleboard. Don't have earlobes. Don't use a cart when shopping. Be a man. Just carry every damn thing by yourself. Don't use a harness when rock climbing. Play in games. We are. We went all the way to number 477. He's got a don't have female family. Uh, don't have games on your phone. Don't try on new shoes. You should just already wear that shit and break them in like a man. Don't show love for romance. Be a man. Ice skating. Don't clap. Be a man. Just nod your head. Wow. Uh, have earlobes. Be a man. Destroy your ears. Wrestlers, get a shout out. I'm a green flag. Of course I don't have a guy best friend. Ooh. I'm a green flag. Of course I'll share my location with you. What? I'm a green flag. Of course I want to cook for you and do the dishes. Ooh. I'm a green flag. Of course I've never had a one night stand. That's what I'm talking about. Looking for my dream man to pull up in a Honda for me to be proud of his nine to five. I don't want anything else. And I still can't find him. Only fans detected, opinion rejected. Women complain way too much about wearing heels. I've seen so many videos of women falling in heels. And today, I'm gonna put it to the test. Oh, pause. To see if wearing heels is actually that bad. Starting out with walking. A little bit of skipping, a little bit of skipping. Full-on sprinting! There's no brakes on these things. Maybe do a little car wheel. You know I had to hit some squats. Risky. Now it's time for the heels 40 yard dash. And to be honest with you, it surprised me. <laughs> now that I've done all my tests, I'm proud to say, women, you are overreacting. Heels are not that bad. Would you be with a girl who worked like a McDonald's? But she's a great person. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Then why, then why wouldn't they? So you would? Why wouldn't they? No, but some people think even what their partner does as a career would, would make a difference in how they would view them. That's exactly how women think. They base their entire worth on the man they're able to catch. So if she's only able to catch a dude working at McDonald's, hate to say it, but it will look like she's cheap. It will look like she's not very valuable. Like the best you could do was angle in a McDonald's guy. Like that's how, that's, she's speaking from the female perspective. Them. Like I say, I always say this thing of women overlook the bin men, women overlook the, yep. the postman, and then they're going to complain when they get dealt with a certain kind of way. But that postman, 
that big man could be the most ambitious guy. He's just doing what he's doing for the meantime before he turns a corner oh, and he turns into the greatest man yeah. in the world. So how can I judge her that works in McDonald's? Especially if she's length. You know, sometimes in McDonald's they've got little tight trousers and all of that on. You might see the cool shape when she turns to get you the Big Mac. You understand? Yeah. And all of that. So, and she's <laughs> length. She just works in McDonald's. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're not going to judge people because they work in McDonald's. Unfortunately, women do, though, and they wait for the winners at the finish line. They don't care about the race since what it took you to get there as long as you're already there. It is what it is. This is Mother Nature at work, and this is how they get to pick. Men compete. Women choose. How jealous do you want your man to be? Oh, my God. <laughs> I want him to be controlling. <laughs> I want him to tell me not to go out, not to wear this, not to do that, not to do this. But, yeah. like, like, a healthy amount. But yeah. most women would say a man shouldn't have any say in how I dress. You shouldn't tell me not to go out with my girls. Why do you feel differently? I just think it's really attractive. I think it is, too. I think it's... Part of that is, you know, the infantilization of society today. They're adult women stuck in a 14-year-old's body. Women want to be with a man that's more experienced, that can guide them, that tells them what to do, and they look up to and value his opinion on things. But this is, again, coming from a broken perspective of dating in the West, where intimacy and connection is already screwed up starting in the home because, you know, single-parent households are so common these days. She most likely never had... Male figures present in her life because any woman with a decent amount of self-esteem and self-respect doesn't want a man to, quote, control her. And that's not a sign of love. And the jealousy that she's seeking out of her partner is in a twisted way a form of control because she's going to bring the jealousy out of him, constantly test him to feel reassured in her relationship, which, again, is a way of self-sabotaging your relationship because that man is going to step out and get tired eventually. It shows that like the man actually like cares about oh my God, this person <laughs> me. it shows heck? that the man really cares about the way that other people like perceive their woman that's but your to job to a certain extent of course like not to the point where it's like you literally can't go out by yourself with your own friends like i think a healthy amount of jealousy is fine would you still want to go out to the club with your girls if you were in a healthy relationship with your man no no, no. and you see both both of them answer that no right away when they're in a healthy relationship, they don't have any need for outside attention. All of you need to be paying attention to that no right there. At least they're being honest, and that's very rare these days. But if you have a girlfriend, and she goes out with her girlfriends, and she's at nightclubs, or she's at bars, that's not your girl, that's our girl. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, dude, but if you've been clubbing before, and you've seen packs of chicks, a bunch of them have boyfriends, a few single ones in the group, and they're all doing bad shit. They're all accepting free drinks from guys. They will let a guy linger around, talk them up, maybe get a foothold in there. What's your Instagram? What's your Snapchat? Oh, how often do you come to the club? That whole I have a boyfriend shit doesn't work. It's like a first layer defense that keeps all the toads away that take that as like a leave me alone. But for the ones that are far more persistent and charismatic, that I have a boyfriend shit goes right out the window. And why would you place yourself in that kind of situation as a woman in a committed relationship that is healthy? You don't. Hence why they said no right away. What's your body count? 20. 20. Let me go to my notes app. I'll just show it to the... Let's just look look how they're dressed. I, if you haven't figured out by now, tattoos are a red flag, especially these many tattoos. And it's always signifying a risky behavior damaged kind of person i know there's a bunch of people in here that oh i like tattoos or i got tattoos myself sorry bro but the world doesn't look at you too kindly there's a reason for it they may have become normalized in society today especially the tattoos that go all the way up your neck and on your face that's becoming more and more common which is crazy like do you want a job do you want to be destitute the rest of your life or are you just the old fans chick forever or are you doing god knows what are you like a soundcloud rapper seriously and then you have to carry that shit the rest of your life. When your kids, when you have kids, dude, they're going to see you and see those like horrendous face tattoos. What are you going to tell your kids? Camera. <laughs> this is a list. So, you know, we got all that. that okay. So period. like, I don't regret a single one. We all have fun. Okay, so like we on all number, have fun. What, what, how, how much you think that this is? This got to be at least 60. At least 60. <laughs> she got 60. I have more than. She has more than 60. Look, tattoos everywhere. Look, full sleeves, both hands. Both arms, excuse me. Uh, tats across the stomach, rainbow colored hair. Shocker, right? Birds of a feather flock together. Don't ever forget it, dude. Even those of you that are in relationships right now are pursuing a chick and perhaps may have met her friends or through Instagram. If you ever peep through their uh, social media accounts, look at who they hang out with and what their stories, their highlights are. 
if she's constantly out partying, if all you see on Instagram is pictures of them holding up drinks, pictures of food, pictures of nightclubs with the lights and, and the music blasting and all that, that's a red flag, bro. Stay far away. You're not going to change her. Don't change her. She don't want to be changed. Turn a hoe into a housewife and you're going to get burned for it. You're going to become another one of these statistics. You're going to be Mr. 61. There's nothing special about you. The chick is too damaged to even pair bond. And you have absolutely no shot of ever having a happy, committed relationship. Matt, <gasps> yeah. are we counting work or not work? Because okay. I do this for work. Okay. Yeah, so if we're counting work, I don't know. I'm pissed right now. I just had an interview and I know that bitch is not going to call me back because I can't sit here and pretend like I'm passionate about being a fucking receptionist. You think when I was a kid and people were like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was like, I want to be a receptionist. I want to be a server. You think I fucking said that? Absolutely not. I need a fucking job, bitch. You know what it is. You want me to lie to you? Do you want me to lie to you and say I'm passionate? I can't do it. <laughs> Welcome to the job market of today, dude. The other side is struggling just as much as men are. Oh, my God. I wonder if they're going to stage a massive protest and just walk out on the job market because it's getting so ridiculous. Are we going to see the light and go back to being stay-at-home mothers? Yay or nay? A relationship truly only works when a woman settles for a man that she considers mid. That would be, of course, mid-women settling for mid-men. I used to talk so much about girls who settled, and now I hope to become one. She used to reach out of her league, and now she is aging, so she hopes to grab <laughs> somebody on the way down. Because when a woman does the opposite and falls in real love with someone she's attracted to and who's at her level, it's a disaster. Here's where she gets confused. Attracted to and at her level are not the same thing unless you're up here. It's a disaster because you're going out of your league and he doesn't really want you. That's when the power dynamic and balance gets thrown off kilter because the man doesn't hold her on a pedestal. Yes, we all know that putting her on a pedestal is the best way to get what you want. Women love men who are below them. So she never has the upper hand. Exactly, because this is what you do when you have the upper hand. And that makes her feel crazy, delulu, out of control. Yes, Michael Sartain told me yesterday that's called dread. I was on his podcast. I'm going places. Because what we're supposed to do as women is just like being receptive. So now she's mocking the idea of respecting the man that she chose, which is a pretty good idea as long as he treats you well. Like allow him to pursue us and chase. Jesus. Of course, the comment says the first comment is a chick. The diagram is not explaining what she's saying. He wasn't listening. And someone responds, no, nah, he was on point. You just don't like facts. Yep. These women think their makeup face is their real goddamn face. <laughs> Nathan, chill, bro. <laughs> uh, dating apps have been disastrous for women's mental health. Yes, they have. Well, why do you work so hard? Why don't you just take a break? Why don't you stop working so hard? Wow, never fucking thought of that one. It's almost like the persistent fear of poverty keeps me going. The fuck? Happy Monday, anyway. <laughs> Wasn't the good old days better? You know. When you could afford a home, white picket fence, just the man needed to work, got two kids and a dog, had to worry about not making the pot roast dry. Oh boy, have times have changed. The persistent fear of poverty, baby. Well, get your ass up at 6 a.m., gotta beat traffic, get to work on time, just like the rest of us. Welcome to the rat race. See you guys on the next one.